Today, I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to perfect ledge dash as Fox. The basic concept for a ledge dash is you press down to drop from the ledge, roll your control stick to 45 degrees down forward, double jump, and air dodge. Doing this perfectly requires precise timing and knowledge as there are many things that can affect how to perform a ledge dash and how effective it is. The first thing you have to understand is that the way in which you reached the ledge affects the timing of your ledge dash. This is because your ECB, or environmental collision box, is distorted. The most perfect ledge dash requires a double jump stall from the ledge. After that, drop from the ledge and after zero extra falling frames, double jump. After one extra double jump frame, an air dodge will put you on stage. The double jump ledge stall is not very safe, so it is better to use other ledge dash setups. Firebird stall is much safer, but you have to add a second extra double jump frame in order to not SD. If you reach the ledge by wave dashing, waiting two extra frames to air dodge still results in SD. You may think you have to wait a third frame, which does work, but if the air dodge is at an angle shallower than 45 degrees, you will make it on stage. Because getting an angle shallower than 45 degrees is difficult to do consistently, and for Fox, it does not significantly increase his ledge dash frame window, I do not suggest using a setup that requires a shallow air dodge angle. Every double jump and air dodge talked about in this video will be 45 degrees down forward. As for the timing of the ledge dash, I tested and graphed all of Fox's options as well as the frames of invulnerability gained from each ledge dash timing. The reason I use the terms extra falling frames and extra double jump frames is because the number shown on this graph will correspond to the feedback given by frame counter when you are practicing this in game. The lower red squares are timings which will result in an SD. The upper red squares will provide your opponent an opportunity to hit you. You may still dodge their attack if their attack is only out during earlier parts of your ledge dash. By looking at this graph, we can see there's a sweet spot of safety and invulnerability at 0, 3, 0, 4, 1, 3, and 1, 4. I've outlined this area to make it easier to see. Fox's best moves out of a ledge dash are shield, shine, spot dodge, jab, down smash, grab, up smash, dash short hop nair, and simply dash. I've listed the number of frames of invulnerability required next to each move. If you are one frame short of invulnerability from what's listed here, your move will trade with your opponents. From this list, we can see that Fox's best options take roughly 8 frames. If you add a bit of execution error for both the timing on the drop from the ledge and the timing on using a move out of the waveland, it's safe to say that 10 frames of invulnerability is the most you will ever need. On this graph, the sweet spot has one square that only has 7 frames of invulnerability. If you are frame perfect, which can be executed roughly 75% of the time with a lot of practice, all of Fox's options will still work, except dash short hop nair, which will trade. Now comes time to practice. Start 20xx and go to the debug menu. Under general codes, select versus melee player flags and make sure spoof controller is set to on for P2, P3, and P4. Now under training codes, make sure in-game code toggles is set to on. Next, go to frame counter and set it to on. Back out and go to versus mode. Change the mode to time and set the time to infinite. In free for all mode, turn on players two, three, and four. Start the game and go to the stage of your choice. I recommend Battlefield. Now comes the tricky part. Grab the ledge and using both hands, press down to drop from the ledge and immediately press up on the D-pad to freeze Fox in his falling animation. Once in this position, hold both L and R and press D-pad left until player 2 has 999%. Release L and R and press D-pad up to unfreeze Fox. This saved Fox's falling animation to player 1. Go back to the ledge, drop from it, double jump and press up on the d-pad to freeze Fox again. I recommend using tap jump for this, as if you're still holding X or Y, it will not freeze Fox. Hold both L and R and press d-pad left until player 3 has 999%.
release Eleanor and press up on the D-pad to unfreeze Fox. This saved Fox's double jump to player 2. Go on stage and stand still for a moment. Press up on the D-pad to freeze Fox, and hold both LNR and press D-pad left until player 4 has 999%. Then press D-pad up to unfreeze Fox. This saved Fox's wait animation to player 3. Now press pause, hold LRAB, and press start to reset the match. Move the CPUs to the center of the screen, and jab them to make them face towards the ledge you want to practice on. This will help adjust the camera so you can see better. Next, move to just in front of the ledge and press D-pad right to make a save state. Now if you mess up a ledge dash, all you have to do is press D-pad left to be brought back onto the stage. If you would like to see your invulnerability frames, hold Y and press D-pad right two times. Every time you ledge dash, you should see at least two percentages change. The number shown on Fox is the number of extra falling frames, and the number on player 2 is the number of extra double jump frames. Do a couple of ledge dashes to see how your current timing of ledge dash is, and to get comfortable pressing D-pad left to save yourself if you miss a ledge dash. You'll most likely notice your ledge dashes are for the most part fairly slow. Recall that the sweet spot numbers you're looking for are 0, 03, 04, 13, and 14. I recommend working on getting the first number, extra fall frames, down to 0 or 1 as a starting goal. For now, forget the air dodge. Focus on swinging your finger down and inwards while pressing jump the instant you get to 45 degrees down forward on the control stick. Once you have that somewhat consistently at 0 or 1 extra falling frames, go ahead and add the air dodge back in. From here, you can practice the full edge dash as much as you want as well as a follow up. Remember that you have to firebird stall before your ledge dash if you are following my graph. If you are trying to do, for example, a ledge dash up smash, do one and look at your results. Frame counter should provide you useful information on how to improve your timing, or to let you know how safe your ledge dash and move was. Player 3 is number of frames you spent in wait. This is wasted time after your ledge dash before you began your move. If it updates to zero frames, that means you inputted your move one frame too late after your ledge dash. If it updates to one frame, you wasted two frames after your ledge dash. If it does not update, you did not enter the wait animation and therefore did not waste any invulnerability frames after your ledge dash. By the way, remember to practice on both sides of the stage. Thank you guys for watching, let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Good luck ledge dashing!